Hello students and everyone. Welcome back to class 8th maths on my YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you chapter 17 circle, chord and arc, example sums on textbook page number 114. In the adjoining figure, O is the center of the circle. With reference to the figure, fill in the blanks. Segment OD is dash of the circle. Segment OD is radius of the circle. Segment AB is dash of the circle. Segment AB is diameter of the circle. Segment PQ is dash of the circle. Segment PQ is chord of the circle. Dash is the central angle. Angle BOD is the central angle. Minor arc, arc AXD, arc BD, dash, dash, dash. Two minor arcs, arc AXD and arc BD is already given. You have to name other three minor arcs. When you name minor arcs, it should be short distance from the chord of a circle. There are altogether six minor arcs. You have to name any three minor arcs. Arc BQ, Arc QP and Arc AP. Major arc. Two major arcs, Arc PAB and Arc PDQ is already given. You have to name any one major arc. When you name major arc, it should be long distance from the chord of a circle. So I will name any one major arc. Arc PXQ. Semicircular arc. Semicircular arc ADB is already given. You have to name any one semicircular arc. When you name semicircular arc, it should be equal distance from the center of a circle. Semicircular arc, arc ADB and arc APB. Major arc DB is equal to major angle dash. Arc DB is the minor arc. The formula is major of a minor arc is equal to major of a central angle. Angle BOD is the central angle. Measure of minor arc DB is equal to measure of a central angle BOD. Measure arc DAB is equal to 360 degree minus major angle dash. Arc DAB is the major arc. So the formula is the measure of a major arc is equal to 360 degree minus measure of a central angle. Measure of a major arc DAB is equal to 360 degree minus measure of a central angle BOD. If you understood class 8 maths example sums on textbook page number 114, give us the feedback or comments. Subscribe the channel, like and share. Thank you.